Hey everybody, it's the Big Weave and I am back in the Lake Tanganyika Mostly Shell Dweller Fish Room. Today we're going over the top row. They're all 10 gallon aquariums. I'm going to show you what's in them, how we filter them, how we did the lids, little bonus that we added to them. So let's get ready, let's have fun today. Stay tuned, like and subscribe. All right, here we are, first two 10 gallon takes on our top row. This is all the way on the left, and we have Catopunctatus red fins. We have two pairs of them currently breeding. Here's the other two. They're a great little fish. They're a little opportunistic shell dweller. So they will use the shells, but they like caves. And there they are, Catopunctatus red fin. Boom. Next, we have two tanks of our favorites. Neolamprologus brevis, wild caught shell dwellers, very aggressive, but great breeders. Both of these pairs have been breeding for a few months now. Great parents, they're just a little aggressive, but we like that. Shell dwellers have personality, they're great. So here we go, Neolamprologus brevis. All right, here we go. We got a single tank, a pair of Neolamprologus ventralis. And they are not a shell dweller, but they're a Lake Tanganyikan fish and they're awesome. Let's see if we can get a decent view of her. He is um, up there being grouchy. But anyways, these are great fish. Kind of rare for us. I mean, it wasn't an easy find. Here we go. Next door we have the Telemachromus temporalis. These are a shell dweller. They have a cool little hump. A little skittish today. But they have also had a couple spawns too that we know of. And there they are in their little 10 gallon. Next door to the pair of Telemachromus we have a single one. Who needs a mate lonely looking for a friend got a little beat up from the other pair but he's coming back pretty good next door to the telemachromis we have the lamprologus consuinus consuinsis and here we have a single male that is hiding behind the rock and then we have our pair right over here Let's see if we can do it side view and pretty fish and there's the big guy come on but these guys are awesome little shell dwellers haven't got them to breed yet hopefully sometimes they show signs we just haven't seen any babies so keeping an eye on these guys so I wanted to show you guys our lids we use the greenhouse siding or top or whatever they come in uh, big sheets and we cut them down and put them on top of our tanks they let a lot of light in cut this little flap right here so we can put food in we were having problems lifting the lids up all the time and it was kind of a the kind of a pain in the buttocks so we just cut a slit and then it can open and close but that's how we did that pretty easy and then look at this we added pothos to all of this row each tank we use a little suction cup hook to hold them on if you can see it there pretty easy to do they're all rooting if you watch our other video the pothos raft my boy and I we built a raft and took a bunch of clippings and then they all rooted so we're doing that for all the tanks. We got four 10 gallons on this section right here. Five right here. Next rows are 20s. We'll go over those in another video. All right guys, so if you notice, on my 10 gallon tanks, all of our tanks, they're blacked out on the back and then I black out the sides. Depending if they're on the end, then I don't 
I leave that one side open so we can see through that side. But what I use is this black vinyl. I buy it in these big rolls. It's made by Oracle. Get it on Amazon. Not real expensive, like 30, 30 bucks a roll. We tried paint, but it kind of came off a little bit. Black vinyl works great. So the last part is how do we filter these tanks? Well, we don't actually run individual filters on each tank. We run a central air unit, and then we drop lines from PVC, use a little valve so we can turn on lines on and off, and then we use sponge filters. It's all different types. We got one of these here. We got some bigger ones for our bigger tanks. And now we're going to try some of the old school box filters, see how they work. And this one is from Lee's, it's a triple flow. So that's something new that we're trying. But pretty simple. Hey, I really appreciate you guys watching today. If you want to see views of our full fish room, we got some no audio really videos out there. We got some other videos with the kids and some of the things they do with the fish. We got summer tubbing. So check out our channel, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Dreamweaver Aquatics. Like a light.